We are back in the booth at Velocity 2011 for an end of day chat with Steve Souders. Steve, thanks for being with us. Hey, yeah, thanks. Glad to be here. So what stood out for you today? Uh, today, I'll tell you the thing, the main thing that stood out to me was the number of tweets about Brian Cantrell's talk in the ops track. And uh, so apparently he knocked it out of the, out of the park. Uh, so I'll have to catch that one on video. Um, let's see, this morning, you know, one of my idols, John Resig, uh, 27 years old, one of my idols. Uh, you know, uh, he's of uh, jQuery fame. Was yep. here, and he's actually now, um, you know, still going to work on jQuery, but um, now moving on for a full-time job with Khan Academy. But he was here to talk about holistic performance, which I think was a mm -hmm. good reminder to people about all the different things that we have to keep in mind. And and again, like we talked yesterday about the complexity. There's so much more material. Um, you know, and knowledge that you know we're trying to consume. Uh, we, you know, the developers of the web, um, and you know, he reinforced that. There's so many things to try to keep in mind. Uh, I thought Google did a, a great talk today, sh uh, showing their instant stuff, uh, and I had a funny one-liner out of that. And um, uh, what else? Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan Hellinger from Facebook yeah. did an amazing talk. Um, both from a technical perspective, talking about uh, you know the custom hardware they've built, but also uh, reinforcing the culture that they have at Facebook mm -hmm. around uh, efficiency and performance right. and optimization. I thought that was great. And then this afternoon was really the uh, best part of Velocity for me were the four browser sessions. This is the first time we've had four. Uh, we had Opera added uh, yeah. this year, and so they were talking about Opera Mini and you know a little more focus on mobile. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other browsers were talking about JavaScript performance and uh, GPU. Um, so, yeah, those are the things that stood out to me. Yeah. Speaking of browsers, I'm sort of oddly fascinated by browsers, but wh where do you think browsers are going? Where, what are we going to be talking about in a year related, related to browsers? Well, I think, uh, to me, like they're doing an amazing job on the desktop, and there's a lot more things that we could do there, but I think, uh, you know, just just like I've said in my own work, mobile is the place to look, and mobile browsers uh, are not doing as good a job as they could. Right. And I don't want to point any fingers here you know, sure. <laughs> during the interview, but sure, sure. you know, read my blog, and, <laughs> and you know, I'll reveal some of the dark secrets uh, there. Sure. And so, and and you know, it's kind of uh, funny that that. Um, uh, it's kind of yeah. funny that they got me on uh, the side here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a special guest star in just a moment. Not John Allspa. <laughs> Are you yes. kidding me? I know, I know. Here? It's totally gonna happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Miking on the fly. Wow, so we're I really pushing live. You know, and and mobile is even uh, more important uh, uh, for good performance. And so, um, you know, it's it's uh, you know. Going to be a, a, a room for you know an area for uh, a lot of improvement and so I think mobile and then I don't even know like like so mobile to me is going to be really big but I still go back to TV I mean I loved web TV I was at General Magic when Phil Goldman spun out uh, web TV and I just so much wanted that to succeed mm -hmm. and there's been other kind of incantations of that over the years and. Um, uh, you know, so I think, you know, at home we have the TV on all the time, and you know, I want to yeah. turn on the TV and see my Twitter stream, and at least, you know, I don't want to compose a three-paragraph email on my TV, <laughs> but I want to see the headers, and I want to be able to click sure. on some, sure. and uh, so I think that'll be a new space. But I, I think, you know, in the next year or two, where we're going to see the most interest in browsers, Mac was asking about browsers, is on mobile. So I, I already did my highlights. I talked about Jonathan. You might want to talk about that some more. John Resig, my idol. And uh, I don't know if you were in Brian Cantrell's talk, but on the Twitter stream, I saw you knocked it out. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't. I was, uh, I was in the, the culture track. Uh, Brian is an animated figure, to say the least. Um, uh, between, between Brian Cantrell and Arthur Bergman, um, I don't know if we have a more uh, inflammatory wit. <laughs> Um, in the we, we, we've got Artur in the uh, performance track this afternoon, so make sure to come by and see him before the conference is over. Yeah, that, he's a natural resource. Um, that's that's Artur is energy to be harnessed, um, uh, and for only ten cents uh, and a, a unit of Artur. Um, 
But yeah, no, I, I, I've been in the, uh, the culture track and, uh, and just uh, a huge amount of, um, uh, of, of advanced stuff, advanced content, stuff that you wouldn't have seen three, you know, two or three years ago. People that, uh, s successful companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook and all those, um, they know that people are important. They know that organizational, uh, um, you know, uh, reliability, you know, building, the idea that you should build your organization as resilient as your architecture and your code base um, is now is is now a part of the discussion, hmm. and I think that that's a really good yeah. that's a really good scenario. And we're seeing the the we're seeing uh, you know my gut is that um, operations people and performance people are split between. The performance track, yeah. the, the 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 standard operations track, where Brian and and, and John Adams spoke, and this culture track, um, and it was a packed room, and uh, uh, these are these are these are good things to talk about. I think. Great, great. Yeah, yeah. John Adams talked to. Uh, again, thankful that we got everything on video. That's right, everything is available on video. Yeah. It all is on yeah. video. Uh, you know, you're talking about the different divisions, right? And. I was talking to Steve a little bit earlier about this. This is the only conference I know where the word tribe is used, which is really fascinating. I, I'm curious, where do you think the tribe is going? Are they going to be separate divisions that are, that are related and that sort of respect each other? Will there be a merging? How do you see it playing out? Well, I mean, it, there's, it's a funny thing. I mean, to bring up, a, bring up a, 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 a funny topic that a lot of people have different views on, right? So when you talk about this, 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 tr the tribe. There's the velocity tribe. The people who come here have, uh, at a high level, the same same interests in mind. They may or may not have different domain expertise. Mm -hmm. They may or may not have different skill sets, and they may or may not have different responsibilities in their organizations. But regardless, the 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 uh, you know the interest of availability and scalability and of performance is one that, that, that they share because all of the businesses that they, that they work for need those things, right? right. So um, it's, it's, it's it, in the same way that, you know, uh, NASA has people who, you know, they, they're, you know, there are guys that focus on thermodynamics, there are guys that focus on, you know, uh, medical health and, and, and physiology, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but they still work at NASA. Sure. Right? So there's, there's a shared goal, which right. is we got to get this thing up in space, we got to get these guys back, and hopefully they can do some interesting things there. Um, involve getting these different folks to, to, to aim their domain expertise in, in coordinative fashions, right? Mm -hmm. So there's the guy who, there's the, there's the people who design the shuttle um, or the spacecraft, and, uh, and they, you know, for, for thermodynamic reasons, they might need to make the, the wing this way. They might need to make the, the, the inside of the cabin this way, right? That's gonna affect the you know the physiology of the people inside right. so the 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 spacecraft designers have to talk to the to the medical personnel sure um, and they have to have a discussion they have right. to have a conversation and that's the sort of thing that's the idea of, of having this group together right if that right. makes any sense absolutely definitely makes sense so uh, have you already started shifted th shifting your thinking towards velocity China velocity Europe where where are things with that right now? Uh, not not too much. I mean, yeah. I it's not over yet, I, right? Yeah, I really get into <laughs> the conference, and I feel it's really important to you know be here in the moment. You know, I try to really uh, get into the talks and uh, that are going on, and engage with the folks in the hallway and people who come up for questions afterwards and things like that. But having said that, um, yeah, I mean, today I've had you know probably twenty conversations about Europe. And that's very exciting to me because we want, you know, I think it's, uh, a lot of people have been asking me for years about getting Velocity Europe, and we need that first event to, you know, be a home run. We need to knock it out of the park like we have with all the other Velocities, including Velocity China last year. And the way that's going to happen is to have uh, great attendees, great speakers, great sponsors like we have every year here. And uh, so, you know, I encourage you know people who are in Europe. Uh, if you if you're a candidate speaker and you have a great, you know, talk, uh, look for the CFP. If you're a sponsor, and I mean, if you look around this exhibit hall, 
Velocity has done a lot to grow this industry. Mm -hmm. And these companies, some of these companies are here, you know, are, are even exist because of the growth in this space, and others, you know, are here, you know, taking advantage of the business opportunities. And uh, that's, you know, good for the, good for the industry. And if you want that to happen in Europe, Velocity is going to help make that grow. Right. And so we need great sponsors and we need uh, folks to come out for the show. Okay. So luckily I've been talking to, I don't know about you, but I've been talking to uh, you know people who are interested in speaking. When is the CFP going to be out? Companies coming up saying, we want to be there, we want to sponsor. So hopefully it will be like this year where we have uh, so many sponsor logos going down the side. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to get all. Screw up the, the page bottom. dimensions on the right yeah. rail. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but very excited. There's a lot of excitement about it. That's great. And we announced this morning. I don't think I said yesterday. I might have hinted at Berlin, and I just found out this this morning. Gina is committed to Berlin in November. Right. We don't have the venue or exact dates yet, but Berlin in November. Berlin in November. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. So, last question, Steve. This is primarily for you, but uh, are you surprised after? The four years that we've been here, are you surprised at where it's at? Could you have ever imagined this? Uh, well, <laughs> yes, you I, totally knew it, right? I, I guess I, you know, in, in one sense I'm surprised. I mean, like I walked in the first day and like was really intimidated at how big it's gotten and the exhibit hall is really yeah. big. But uh, no, I mean, you know, I, I've always been very passionate about this and I've, you know, I didn't know like this was how it was going to manifest manifest itself six years ago, but six years ago when I saw the wins that we had early on at Yahoo, it was like, yeah, I mean yeah. this is and it, and that's you know was a story I don't tell that story the last couple of years, but in the in kind of the middle years I would tell this story of the win 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 where it, you know wins for publishers, wins for advertisers, wins for users, um, you know wins for the uh, ops guys, lowers your operating costs, and I'll just put a, a little plug in for, we haven't even talked about uh, the green aspects of performance, mm, right. where um, I think I've you know tweeted or, or blogged a couple times, the internet uses 4% of the world power, and I think pretty easily we can cut that to 2%. And But it's going to take everyone like understanding these best practices, sure. and not just saying, oh yeah, I read the book, but I didn't have time to do anything. If we implement these best practices, uh, we can cut power consumption in half, and that's going to be, be huge. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, yeah, I kind of thought it would be big. Yeah, <laughs> think big and it happens. So any closing thoughts, guys? Anything you want to wrap up with? Um, no, nothing really. Oh, we have, we're getting a plug out here. There's there a webcast is, coming up on, right, on June uh, 24th. On Friday the 24th, uh, Steve and I are going to do a webcast to sort of do a, a, a retrospective. It's, a, it's sort of a, a, That's cool. another wrap up and a sort of a, if we can, if we can identify any themes or that, you know, that sort of thing. Some of the stuff that we talk about in, in this thing. Um, so June 24th, yep, look June for 24th, that on O'Reilly.com, right? Yep. yep. I've got to wrap up. You're, you're going to bypass the wrap up opportunity? There I've you got, go, please. I've got to wrap up. Mobile, <laughs> it's huge. I mean, this was the first time we really had dedicated mobile here. And uh, it's huge, you know, focus on mobile. I tell people who, you know, are kind of new in the dev space, uh, work on performance or work on mobile. Both of those are, you know, going through the roof. Uh, I retweeted someone's picture of the job board here. It mm. was jam-packed. Yeah. Um, so I would say that. I would also say uh, new companies. I, I think we're going to see, you know, I encourage uh, companies interested in this space to get going and get started. Um, but I think we're also going to see some consolidation here. I think we're going to see big players, um, you know, get interested in this space. We saw this week. Uh, you know, the partnership between uh, Contendo and Citrix announced. I think we're going to see more things like that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think, you know, we're going to see performance uh, uh, trickling into a lot of different aspects of the web and, and these web companies and these uh, service providers. Great. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate you taking the time and congratulations on a great show. And I'll let you guys get out of here. We're going to wrap things up. Okay. So thanks, thanks. take care.